Hello and welcome to Phoenix LiDAR Systems demonstration of Spatial Explorer 6. Today we'll be highlighting the use of ground control points in Spatial Explorer. We'll uh, show you how to bring those in uh, with the proper coordinate reference system, as well as do an adjustment to our point cloud to make sure that our cloud aligns to these control points. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Here we have our classified point cloud uh, with ground classified as well as uh, noise uh, highlighted in blue there. Let's go ahead and bring in our ground control array. I have these ground control points that already have um, type associated with them, as well as ID, X, Y, and Z. So if we open this, you can see that in our five columns, we have our name, our ground control ID, X, Y, and Z, obviously, as well as the type in our fifth column of control or checkpoint. And we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, and more importantly is our coordinate system that we are utilizing. If you use this uh, dot 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 to open up the dialog, you can see we have a, a plethora of potential coordinate systems um, in all sorts of locations around the world and orientations of that in both horizontal and vertical. Uh, these are in our user-defined compound CRS. Uh, also welcome to bring in well-known text or, prop, or a PROJ4 code uh, to make a customized ground uh, coordinate reference system, as well as search through uh, some of the well-known geographic or compound CRS. But for today, I'm going to be using uh, NAT 2011, UTM 11 North, uh, with a vertical of um, ellipsoidal height. Go ahead and hit OK. And this all looks right. Hit OK, and we can see that our ground control is quite dense and covers our whole project. Here, if we uh, jump into our ground control points here, we can see they are uh, flagged by their type, whether control or a checkpoint, and we're able to uh, visualize them in a few different ways. But let's jump all the way down here to our Align to GCPs tool. Uh, here, we're able to utilize the ground class uh, as that is what we want to align to our ground control points. Instead of all points, we're just going to use ground. And uh, we'll have this uh, calculate the residuals um, from our ground to the locations, the vertical locations of these points. Now down here in our corrections window, you can see we now have uh, many different ground control point corrections. We're going to allow them to be a vertical alignment as these are shot on the ground itself, not on three-dimensional objects. If you had three-dimensional objects, uh, you're welcome to utilize full uh, to get both a vertical and horizontal um, alignment to the cloud. So um, we're going to let all this stay default, we're also allowing um, the various strengths of these um, to be mi um, minimized or maximized, but we're going to keep it right about in the middle. Go ahead and hit Apply. And here, through the calculation of these uh, vertical shifts, we have found an average linear shift to our point cloud. So we're not rubber sheeting by any means. We're just doing a vertical shift to our um, control points. And we're also allowing both trajectories, or either one, to be shifted by the same amount to make sure our trajectories are following the vertical alignment of our cloud. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we can see that our cloud has been shifted. If we open up our other view here and create a cross section. You can see, with the exception of the points way back here on the wall, that we are nicely aligned with our ground control. And once this cloud has been changed like this, let's go ahead and save the changes to the cloud to make sure that stays. And now we also have uh, new trajectories that have been shifted appropriately. 
Simple as that. Very quick, very easy alignment to ground control array in any sort of um, coordinate reference system, whether that's um, here in uh, UTM 11 North or maybe in uh, Lithuania. It will work anywhere with any cloud. Thanks for joining us for the ground control module of Spatial Explorer 6. I look forward to seeing you in further videos.